In this lecture, I would like to explain the existence of pallet decomposition. So, existence of pallet decomposition. We want to prove, as is mentioned in 2006 article of Abraham Itai, we want to prove that uh, we can always uh, construct a padded decomposition. So first uh, we, should, uh, we should just recall how we constructed such a cluster. So if we fix some, some size, so I is fixed for, for some, uh, some I, I is fixed. And then the, the radius of your clusters in this fixed uh, I, for this fixed I, is between delta over 4 and delta over 2. It means that we have uh, three clusters, for example, for a given, uh, for a given scale, of course. So 1, 2, and 3. We have three clusters, but as you know, the center of them, for example, this, this is cluster 1, this is C1, which is uh, SV1. And uh, so, if, so, so it is constructed by just uh, defining by XJ hat is minimum of that gross rate that I explained in previous lecture. X and delta bar and gamma, which is the scale, gamma is the scale. And the, if you minimize this over all X, which is inside the J, then uh, the center of that is VJ. So for example, V1 here is the center of minimization of this minimization. And you know rho is just um, the, the cardinality of uh, the ball of center x, but now it's vj and uh, delta gamma divided by b of x and delta over gamma. And and uh, same for V2, but uh, first we, ca we, we, we say that Z, Z1 is, is the whole space. So it is, so everything, so it's everything. And then uh, Z2 is Z excluding the f your first cluster that you have Defined, which is which is S, SV one. So I mean Z excluding C one, in other words, and uh, Z three, of course, this is the V three, another minimization, and the center is V three. V three Z three is uh, Z two, uh, excluding SV two which is equal to Z2, excluding the cluster 2. And uh, we, have because we have here, for example, in this example, we have only three clusters. But in general, you can do it uh, recursively like this. So we just exclude the cluster that you have already uh, used. And then uh, I just say that uh, if, for example, this point is your x, then, then this is this is uh, the radius is eta eta two delta, and you know that if x is in v two, then it is minimized. So this uh, this uh, gross rate is minimized. Rho is the local growth rate. So if x is in V2 and x 
is in Z2, then uh, it is minimized. So, so now we are ready to say that uh, eta j is designed to be 2 to the minus 4 ln of 1 over delta ln of xj. Uh, I recall from previous lecture that uh, because we were uh, re trying to reduce the distortion, what was in the function, the embedding function, was just uh, uh, eta minus 1 times delta. And now we know that uh, it is ln of uh, this cardinality of vj and delta gamma over uh, the cardinality of ball of vj and delta bar over gamma over over gamma and of course uh, divided by 2 to the minus 4 ln of 1 over delta so uh, the idea is that we want the probability that uh, this intersects another cluster to be minimized because x is in cluster C2 and this is cluster C3 because x is in cluster C2 so we don't want if you want to make an open set I mean uh, in the language of topology if you want to make an open set with the center x we don't want uh, to have the intersection with v3 uh, with c3 very much but it but it occurs because we are just approximating it we cannot make it a perfect thing unless your data is in a very restricted uh, sp and special case but in general you can always uh, you, you you can always uh, see that this happens but it happens rarely. And that's why we want to prove that uh, p hat is uh, uniformly padded. So uh, I recall that uh, h hat is called eta and delta padded if the probability of that ball that I mentioned, that ball for for uh, a particular i where i is uh, is just your scale for a given scale of x uh, delta i this ball inside the probability that this is inside the cluster that contains x is greater than delta of course nowadays we have more complex definitions for this uh, padded decomposition and then for example Arnold replaces this to e to the gamma something like this and uh, so but but here we just we want to prove that this happens very often and uh, uh, the, the opposite is the same as is so it's the dual to to saying that the ball of x and eta p of x delta is not in p of x is one minus delta and we want to say that this is less than equal to one minus delta so we want to prove this so in this lecture i just focus on proving this that this occurs very rarely and uh, very often we want this to happen. So it is called padded decomposition. And you see uh, in the previous, you saw in the previous lecture how it played an important role to, re to f find it is to reduce the distortion and make a good uh, metric embedding. So, uh, so for that, we, we just need to define some events. I mean, event M is that for any J, it occurs that BZ of X and eta J delta 
is, in, is a subset of Zj plus 1. And another event that you need is that there exists some j such that the ball of uh, center x and radius eta g delta. This means that uh, this symbol means that it has intersection with both svj and svj uh, complement, uh, conditioned on the event zm that I defined here. So zm is here. So we want to prove that uh, the probability that QCM is less than 1 minus theta, 1 plus theta expectation of QCJ minus 1 conditioned on ZM. And why is it important? Because uh, if you just set M equal to 1, then it's what, what we want, what we are looking for. So in other words, the probability of B of x and a eta delta uh, is, is not a subset of p of x, the cluster containing x, is the probability of k c1. So it is enough to make m equal to 1 so that we find what is interesting for us. And doing this is just, uh, you, we just used uh, in induction. And uh, uh, so, so in one line, I can say that the probability of event KCM, you can write it as it, it is equal to probability of F of M plus probability of uh, G of M plus probability of not G of F, uh, M. So because this one is 1, so 1 multiplied by probability of QCM plus 1 doesn't change. So I want to make it an inequality. So I say that this guy is less than, so this guy is less than equal to probability of FM. But here we just uh, remove this one. So because we have reduced from 1, then this one is less than probability of G of M, probability of KCM plus 1. And the rest of the proof that is mentioned in the 2006 article of Abraham Itai is very straightforward. And so the proof is complete. And then, of course, uh, for this, he has proved another lemma to, say, to show that, uh, that this one is less than equal to uh, 1 minus theta probability of G of M. It is related to G of M plus theta E uh, expectation of the indicator function of T. And by the way, T... Uh, is just the ball. With center, of, for example, x and 2 times delta. And so plus uh, 1 of t of v of m, chi of m conditioned on event as z of m. And uh, by using this and substituting this in here, we will get that the probability of Kisi one, which which is interesting for us because once again it is equal to the probability of that ball that uh, is is not a subset of the cluster containing X. So probability of KC1 now is, is, is less than 1 minus theta, 1 plus theta times expectation of the sum over all chi j's. But uh, remember that j is at least m. 
and uh, your the center should be inside T, which is that ball I mentioned. Then uh, this expectation, if you if you just simplify the previous page, it is just this one. And by definition, it is just one minus delta. So we have proved that p hat is uniformly padded. And so uh, just uh, so you see that first we have a space x. We fix we fix a scale. For example, delta i, i is equal to 6, for example. And we know delta i is 4 to the i, so 4 to the 6 is your size. And then when in, in each i, for each i, you have a bunch of clusters, c1, c2, c3. But, uh, but you, you constructed it like this. For example, v1 here, this ball, is just v1. v1 is uh, uh, arg mean of, as I as I said, it is arg mean of rho of x and delta and gamma. And uh, of course, the value of this is uh, chi j, and for eta we need chi j. So this is v1, and then. Uh, once we, we created our first cluster in this particular scale, so this is cluster 1, so we say that now z is equal to z, z2 is equal to z, exclude your cluster, exclude c1. So the rest of the area, so excluding the red part, uh, these are the space that we are looking for minimization again, because we have to minimize rho of x and delta bar and gamma, but this time x is in z2, and z2 is the blue area uh, excluding the red area. So this one, the arg mean of that is again uh, v2, but the value is chi2. So, but the arg mean of that is V2. So V2 is here. And then this process goes on until we cover all, all of the points. But you see, we have, rank, we have some kind of ranking. So first V1, V2, V3, V4. So we have some kind of rank. C2, C3. C4 until uh, we have covered all of the points. And then here we have proved that it is a padded decomposition. It means that the probability that X, this area intersects other clusters, such as this cluster, is too small. Of course, it may happen that one cluster, for example, this cluster, with a, it, it has some intersection with other clusters, but it happens very rarely. So this eta is designed, this eta is designed such that it never happens. And that's why we have designed this to be ln of 1 over delta divided by ln of j. And uh, again, I recall for several time that this is minimum of your local growth rate, which is rho of x and delta bar and gamma. If you minimize that, then, then the value of that is your, you got your center point, which is Vj of cluster J and you have scale, and, and you see that this is the cardinality of B of X and delta gamma divided by B of X and delta over gamma. 
Ciao e ne